up and ready to head out um i have a very very busy day today um in the city but i just thought i'll show you guys my outfit before heading out our first stop is going to be prada cafe which i'm very very excited and here is my outfit i'm wearing these vintage earrings that i got from portobello market my pearl amazon necklace this gorgeous dress from asos my uh lots of motion jacket because it is a cloudy day um chloe bag and my h m um flats and we're gonna head into the city um it's going to be another touristy day seeing like around london um, as I mentioned, the first stop will be Prada Cafe, which I'm very much looking forward to it. And then we're gonna, I think, go see Big Ben, London Eye. Interestingly, I have never seen Big Ben. I've been coming to London for the past, like, I think six, seven years. And every time that I've been in town, um, it was under construction. And I'm actually very excited to see it. So, yeah, I'm a little bit still sleepy because last night I didn't sleep well. I mean, I did sleep well but i didn't sleep long um so i'm a little bit tired and my skin is doing better than what it used to but it is not 100 percent there yet for some reason my makeup products do not stick to my face which is very 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 odd and my voice is still raspy that's how sleep i am still um uh, but yeah i'm excited for a day of sightseeing and being in the city i didn't do anything to my hair honestly couldn't be bothered just dry shampooed it and brushed it um we're gonna take the train and the bus which i'm very excited because it's just when you're in london you have to you know um i usually my cousins usually drive everywhere or we get a taxi or like uber places but today we're gonna take um the bus and the tube which i am a little bit overdressed for the tube but i guess it's a London experience. Anyway, this is the outfit of the day. Now let's head out. We just got to the Prada Cafe and it is very, very cute and bougie. Even their plates have Prada logo on them, obviously. It's Prada. Oh my god, even the silverware has a logo on it. Very cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> Great. I'm finally reunited with my espresso martini. All the nice things. I'm talking like I'm, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> that is not the case. You guys all know how much I appreciate my espresso martini, and I haven't had any ever since I've been to London. Have I had any? I haven't had any. Right? So, cheers. Cheers. It's a good one. It's a good one. So I checked the weather app this morning and it said that it is going to be sunny and warm, hence the outfit. I mean, to be fair, I had this outfit. Um, I've decided that I'm going to wear this outfit from months ago. Sir, I'm having a serious conversation. Um, so yeah, I was gonna wear this outfit anyway. But anyway, I checked this morning. Um, the weather says it's going to be sunny and it is going to be warm. Zero trust in the app because it is very cold and it's windy and freezing and we have 11 minutes of walk i totally forgot to even tell you guys that we went on a bus and on a tube i was a bit overdressed for the tube let's just not get run over but it was a interesting experience are we getting run over um it was an interesting experience well it wasn't busy probably on our way back home it will be a little bit more busy that is very cute um so yeah now we're gonna go see big ben which i'm actually very very excited to see <laughs> that's god and i she's gonna get embarrassed but when I, like does she get embarrassed when i vlog in public because you guys know i don't do this in la it's just i just don't do it but here obviously it's a travel vlog i have to i was like do you get embarrassed when i'm vlogging she's like no this is london everybody's weird 
<laughs> that was the most convincing answer that I have ever heard. We came to Zara and I picked up a few bits and bobs to try on. So let's do a Zara try on haul. This fitting room is really, really small. So I'm really hoping I'll be able to show you guys everything that I picked out in a presentable way. We are starting very, very strong with this set that I am absolutely obsessed with. It's like cropped pants with the vest love it they're coming home with me they're adorable and very very cute i'm wearing large in the vest and extra large in the pants just hear me out not together but the shirt separately i think it's very very cute i love all the embellishments on it but the pants are just a no for me i mean some people probably will be able to rock this but i am not that person to be honest i really like the length of the shorts usually zara shorts are short short but this one is not it's like bermuda and just absolutely love the length of it but i am not cool enough to be able to rock this but the shirt i'm kind of into it i think i want to um take the shirt because it's cute just imagine it with white jeans or even blue jeans that could be a look forgot to mention the size i'm wearing a large no actually medium in the shirt and uh, large in the shorts absolutely love 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 the design of this dress um i picked it up in a size extra large just because i thought the waist would be small but i think it is a little bit big and it needs to be smaller i'm gonna see if they have a size large if they do i'll pick it up in a size large I absolutely love the design of it and it also has pockets. It's just a beautiful dress. Oh my god, this thing's right in my face. Um, it's just a beautiful dress, but perfect for, um, what do you call it, spring and summer. And I love the length of it, so I'll see if they have it in a size large. I'll pick it up because it's just a beautiful dress that can be dressed up or dressed down. So, yeah. Love, love, love this. Adena just said that this dress gives her Britney Spears vibes and I don't know if that's what I would like to go for, but it is a cute dress. I'm not very much into denim dresses, but this one specifically is very cute. This is a size large. The medium was small on me, uh, but the size large has these pumps on the side. I don't know. I mean, I have to change my bra. I'm not wearing the best bra for this outfit. I have to wear like a push-up bra, but I don't know. I kind of like it. I feel like, again, this can be a casual look or a dress-up look, and I love that it's one-sided. I don't know. I think I'll pick this up as well because it's just cute. I don't have any pants with me, so I can't show you guys below this, but I'm picking up this one as well. This is in a size medium. I thought picking up in a size large, but I think the medium is better because it's just it's a stretchy material. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with a size large. I really, really like this, um, what do you call it? Sweaters, you guys know I'm very much into stripes. Um, but yeah, I think the medium is a little bit too tight. It is pulling these areas. So yeah, I'm actually going to pick up um, this one in a size large. I'm sure they have it because I just saw it, so yeah. Really good staple in your wardrobe. Not crazy about the color of it. I think I would prefer it in beige, which if you guys remember in my previous Zara haul, I tried it on. I don't know why I didn't get it. I was gonna get it, but I didn't get it and I regret it. Um, so if I see this in like a beige color and not this um, like off-white acre one, I'll get, uh, I'll prefer the like beige one over this. Um, I have something very similar to this and this color so yeah i think i'm gonna see if they have the other color i'll get the other color but it's a very very cute design this is probably the best cheese sandwich that i've ever had I'm currently unfilling out the questionnaire 
and then we'll go ahead and get a facial i have no idea what kind of facial i'm getting but obviously i'll keep you guys posted on that uh, but as you guys know my skin has not been skinning so i'm very excited to get the help um to bring my skin back to life um i do have full face of makeup on because i was taking pictures prior coming to here so um yeah we will remove the makeup do the facial and all of that i didn't even show you guys my outfit i'll insert the picture of it here for you guys because i'm wearing a very cute two-piece but yeah currently i'm just gonna um fill in the questionnaire i'm so sorry <laughs> and then we'll go get the facial Yeah. Um, could you just tell me a little bit about your skin or what your skin dream is? Um, I have rosacea. And uh, besides that, I try to take care of yeah, as much as I can. I mean, right now it's not doing good. Travel and all of that. I live in it's LA. Yeah, okay. it's, I'm not sure what it is, but the water and the air here doesn't get along with my skin. Yeah. Every yeah. time that I travel, this is the same scenario. Yeah. Normally, I don't have this many breakouts, uh -huh. but yeah. Um, so. Yeah, besides those, I don't have that many like yeah. big concerns. Okay, I'm scared of this machine though. No, now it's gonna tell me the truth. It, and I'm gonna be... It's so nice to have it done just to sort of see how your skin yeah. is. I saw you put as well your skin dreams as well is to sort of um, work like hydration and yeah. sort of like have that dream. Yeah, because the uh, hydration helps with my rosacea. So yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not flaky when it's hydrated actually yeah. it's not flaky it's i have it under control as much as i can yeah. obviously but coffee hot food travel yeah. lean everything <laughs> triggers <laughs> rosacea yeah do you drink a lot of coffee at the moment i do yeah, big coffee drink i do yeah. Yeah. and wine yeah <laughs> How about you? <laughs> I do drink water as much as I can, so but yeah. Out, yeah. But I know I'm a huge coffee drinker, yeah. which is not good for it, and I eat spicy food, which is another. Yeah, I know. I go everything I do to. I know. Okay. What we will do though, we'll do your skin. I was like, we're taking image of your skin. Perfect. And then if you close your eyes, me, and you should see two flashes now. Perfect. And then you can sit back. So how is your skincare routine at the moment? So it's like, what are you using on a daily basis? Um, so morning is pretty much cleanser, yeah. uh, moisturizer, and a toner. Okay. I try to not put too many stuff in. Nighttime yeah. is a little bit more intense. Cleanser, I start with the balm. Then, oh, amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm obsessed with the balm. The original cleansing balm, the yellow one. I use all of them. Oh. Doesn't matter, whatever I have in yeah. stock, yeah. <laughs> I love all of them. Um, use the balm, then the cleanser, and... Um, I use actually the eye makeup remover too because sometimes yeah. the waterproof makeup doesn't come up. And then, um, oh wow, I'm closing person. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then no, yeah, at all. Is that just rosacea? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. scared that it's gonna get okay. uh, maybe every a few months. I'll do only on my nose a little, a bit, little bit, but I try to not do it on my cheek area. Yeah, yeah because it irritates it really okay. badly. At least until I can build a little bit of a skin yeah. barrier, yeah, okay. and then so, yeah, I will okay. do it. But for the time being, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And do you do any sort of like face masks or? I know. I no. try to stay away from it as much as I can. I don't okay. mind it, do but this is the thing. I don't know what to use, That's so I don't thing. use it. Yeah. I mean, what we can do at the end of your treatment, we can do like a little prescription plan and take it from there. Okay. But if we're like, from what you said, maybe at the moment we feel like less is more for Yeah. yeah. I just don't want to irritate my skin, no, you know what I mean? I because the smallest yeah. thing, it irritates it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so much better. Oh, wow. So your first image over here, this is just any skin texture so this is like mm -hmm. any dry skin dead skin yeah um any daily dirt and grime and pollution so while okay. you're double cleansing every evening is perfect mm -hmm. i would say at the moment it's probably just picked up a little bit of skin texture from where you said your skin's a little bit more on the dry yeah. side at the moment from like traveling and sort of like your diet is off the moment mm -hmm. um then your second image over here so this shows any dehydration in the lower layers of the mm -hmm. skin 
mainly dehydrated sort of around the eye area and a little bit around the cheeks. Yeah. Do you use any sort of like eye creams or serums? Or um, I do, but not always. Do I need to? I use a serum. I use a hydrating uh -huh. face serum, but not on a regular. I was just going to say, yeah. it's like maybe like a couple of times a week. Yeah. Is that just because you're quite busy? Or um, just not putting that much effort. I if you are being very honest, <laughs> <laughs> not putting that much effort, that's the only excuse I can no, bring in, what, yeah. What I would say, I think my your skin is a bit dry at the moment, mm -hmm. I would say if you could, try and be consistent with your facial oil okay. just because it will penetrate deep into your skin. Okay. It will really help pumping everything and the facial oil we we'll use on your face um, will probably be that your skin is captured. Mm -hmm. So where you have your rose, it would be more safe and calming for your skin okay. as well. I'm scared for the third one. What is the third one? So your third one is um, skin texture. So mm. all your yellow areas show why it's My rosy area. Yeah. All your blue areas show it any dryness. So mm. make sure by at the moment I would just say it picks up a little bit more excess oils and excess shine. Mm. It can just be from your makeup as well because looking at your skin you can just see sort of like you've got that dewy appearance. Mm -hmm. Over here is where you would exfoliate. So obviously I know with your rosacea you're quite careful and how often you exfoliate. Yeah. But I would even say anything with rose is more perfect for um, quite sensitive skin because it is more soothing and calming. Got so it. even if you did like a gentle rose scrub once mm -hmm. a week, um, that okay. will get rid of any sort of like dry skin, dead skin and congestion. Got and it. also where there's really like a build up of like um kind of like pollution things like that from where you've been traveling it will just really give your skin that deep cleanse mm -hmm. then your full finish over here so this shows any pores that block from congestion mm -hmm. so if you see sort of like where these little dots are yeah. around here that is where there is a blocked pore so with your mm -hmm. exfoliation where it's got those sort of like physical bits in there that will help with lifting everything away God. And then open dots just sort of like here, yeah, that shows why your skin's a little bit dehydrated. So what's happened is that that pore has stretched open. Mm. So all you would need to use here is maybe like a hydrating mist as well as your toner and just sort of spritz it on throughout the day. And that will have like balancing and purifying your skin. Then your fifth image over here, so this shows any UVA and UVB exposure. So anywhere where you have a change in skin tone, any freckles or any pigmentation, do you wear a SPF every day? Yeah. yeah no, I am. Yeah. No, I am. But before not used not to, but much. now I am. Yeah. Lovely. Honestly, That's I expected fine. it to be more. Um, do you wear 30 or 50? 50. 50. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, um, because of my rosacea, I have to go on yeah. the highest dose possible. Yeah. No, lovely. Yeah. Um, and then your six image over here is a dish is showing sort of like any redness and any sensitivity. And you mentioned your skin is more on a sensitive side yeah. at the moment. Mm -hmm. Can that be towards like product and heat or is it more sort of like I think it's the, um, it's not product, it's probably environmental change yeah. right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can put on you at the end of your treatment, I'll put like an environmental day cream. Okay. So that will help your skin adapt to those sort of like different environments where you've been traveling mm -hmm. and sort of going through these different Got climates. It. it will stop your skin from losing all this moisture. But overall from your skin, what I would say to do is to exfoliate once a week. Exfoliate um, once a week, okay. And then add a facial oil into your routine. Mm -hmm. And then depending on how your skin's feeling, just do like a weekly face mask or something that would just really help you put everything in. So just those few things. What um do you guys have an exfoliator or an exfoliator? Yeah, I think if you want I can show you. Um okay. it would be Oh, I have that one actually. So yeah, if you use it, gentle. Oh yeah, actually, I do have this one. But this is such a zen room. I am changed in my robe and my slippers, and I am ready for my facial. This room is very, very, very zen. As you guys saw, we just used this machine downstairs to basically know what's wrong with my skin and there are many many things that are wrong with my skin that i need to fix and i am someone who's very you guys know very much into my skincare and all of that i thought i'm taking care of my skin to the best of my ability but i am not i need to pay a lot more attention to my skin because i have a lot of texture i have a lot of i didn't have that much pores open that i thought i would but i have a lot of texture and a lot of oiliness on my rosacea area and also dehydration on the same area so, so basically i need to be on top of my skincare but for the time being i'm very very excited to get a facial um obviously remove my makeup and get the treatment
The only really people yeah. that I would trust is like LMS yeah. oh, um, amazing. spa, so. That's how good I'm feeling right now. Zen, relax, and look how wonderful my skin is looking. I'm amazed. I'm literally amazed. Let me show you guys the facial that I got in case you want to get the same treatment. It is this one. So the Pro Glow Brilliant Facial. And I am amazed at how wonderful my skin is looking like I literally feel like I've been reborn that's how good my face is looking it was very very relaxing and she did this head massage that I was like oh my god please do not ever stop I usually don't like people like I don't like massages I don't like people touching me but that head massage was chef's kiss I'm just gonna quickly get dressed and then I'll meet her outside and I think I'm going to have white rose herbal tea, which I'm very much looking forward to. So I'm having my herbal tea, and this is a strawberry shot, if I'm not mistaken. So good. I want to have a little bit of a taste I of the shot. I think she mentioned it's strawberry. Oh my god, this is so good. I think it's strawberry with lemon and ginger. Oh my god, that was so good. We have change of outfit. I just needed to get out of um, my, um, what do you call it, my vest and my pants. Uh, because I'm planning on wearing them tonight and I just didn't want them to get dirty and I was gonna walk around the city I knew I'm gonna just be walking around I just didn't want to be um, in that outfit so I changed into something very very casual and comfortable also I am carrying this bag with me from Abbott's Leon and I am absolutely loving it it fits literally two entire outfits a makeup bag which I was gonna put makeup on but then they did such an amazing job on my facial but I was like I'm not gonna ruin my face like that um, makeup bag my tripod it fits a lot um, anyway I was walking and I came across um, H&M so we're gonna try on a few bits in together I have to hold it here because it is a little bit um, very much revealing unfortunately they didn't have it in my size this is a size medium and surprisingly the hip area fits but the bust area is very 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 small and very very revealing but it is such a beautiful dress I don't know if you guys can see but like it has all lace details on top and also on the bottom it's such a cute night out outfit even like during the day we can wear this um, if it fits you, fits you right but yeah unfortunately this will be a pass because it doesn't fit my chest area for some reason I thought I'll like this um, dress but it's an absolute no for me I really really like this dress surprisingly but it is very 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 short for my liking do you guys see how 
like disbalanced is that a word i think like it is not balanced the left and right side do not match why is this side so much shorter i tied it from the bottom correctly but yeah it's just a very mismatch kind of a situation but i really really like it i feel like for like holiday dinner this is such a cute one it reminds me of sunset um but yeah this would be a pass only because it is a little bit too short for my liking they didn't have this dress in my size this is an extra large and unfortunately it is a little bit too big but it is a cute dress it comes with straps if you want to um, have it with the straps you can wear it with the straps but yeah it doesn't look flattering at all on me because it is way too big but i think the idea of it really really nice <laughs> and also the fabric is really thick um and that's like usually not the case with h&m um but yeah it runs really big and this is an extra large usually i wear medium or large but yeah it doesn't look flattering on me but it's a very cute dress and as i mentioned pretty thick material for white which is always appreciated absolutely obsessed with this top which you guys already know how much I love striped and I love this linen white leg pants as well they're both coming home with me I am absolutely obsessed with this this top is a bit too saucy for my liking but it is very very cute I'm honestly tempted to get it but I know every time that I want to wear it I'll be like no this is too much but it is very very adorable if you have a little bit of a smaller chest or if you're comfortable wearing it like this a ton of that I would recommend getting it it is a linen one and I love the flowers on top of it but it is just a little bit too saucy for my liking <laughs> <laughs> 